To God be the glory. To God be the glory. This man lived for God, and he is of God. I have come here today to say two simple words. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to everyone. The 7th Congressional District, he loved Baltimore City. Baltimore, thank you for everything that you did to pour into him, to make him who he was, to allow him to be and to rise to greatness. Howard County, he once and always said whenever he spoke to you, it is my honor and privilege to serve you, and he meant every word of it. To Baltimore County, he enjoyed serving you as well, so thank you so much for supporting and working with him. To all his congressional colleagues, it was a distinct honor and privilege to walk beside you, to, to fight the good fight, the Congressional Black Caucus he was a proud member of and once led, uh, to all the leadership of the Senate and certainly the House. Nancy Pelosi, thank you. He considers you his mentor. <laughs> President Obama, he was so proud. He was so proud to stand with you and for you early, to be your co-chair here in the state of Maryland, to serve as your chief defense attorney on the House Oversight Committee, <laughs> and to make sure that you and your administration were all right. But you didn't have any challenges like we got going on now. So his job became harder over time. That being said, President Clinton, he was absolutely honored to be your friend. He counted you amongst his friend. When he invited you, you showed up. One of the proudest moments of his life when you came right here to New Psalmist Baptist Church and worshiped with us. We thank you so much. Secretary Clinton, oh my goodness. He spent many an hour defending you against spurious claims. And now he had to go on to actually work to fight for the soul of our democracy against very real corruption. I want you all to know that it was not easy. What Congressman Chairman Cummings did was not easy. And it got infinitely more difficult in the last months of his life when he sustained personal attacks and attacks on his beloved city. And while he carried himself with grace and dignity in all public forums, it hurt him. Because one thing you do not know about Congressman Cummings, he was a man of soul and spirit. He felt very deeply. He was very empathetic. It was one of his greatest gifts. And it was one of the sources of his ability to be a public servant and a man of the people. And so with that, to have the week's activities basically be laid out in such a glorious way, to be a tribute to the great man that he was, to the great legacy that he left, to be the first African-American to ever, congressman to ever lie in state in the U.S. Capitol. Now, it is true that he dictated every aspect of his service today. And he would have told me, Maya, I don't want a service at the U.S. Capitol. But I felt like very strongly that they were trying to tear him down. And we needed to make sure that he went out with the respect and the dignity that he deserved. This was a man of the utmost integrity. Do you hear me? He had integrity. And he cared about our democracy. He cared about our planet. He cared about our community. He wanted to make sure that we left a society worthy of our children. So I just
just want to tell you that it also wasn't easy in the last months of his life because he absolutely was in pain. But get this, he was a walking miracle. Do you know that he was diagnosed with a life-threatening illness more than 25 years ago? He was given six months to live more than 25 years ago. And he kept going. He kept fighting. He kept standing. He kept working. And it was my distinct honor and privilege to be his spouse. Just two days before he died, he was in a lot of pain. He could no longer walk. And he kept saying, I'm tired. I'm ready to go. And so the, the wonderful world-class staff at the Johns Hopkins Hospital, at the Johns Hopkins University, they came in and they said that we wanted to give him sunshine therapy. And so they rolled his entire medical bed out of the room and to the 14th floor, the rooftop of Johns Hopkins Hospital, where they land the helicopters for life-threatening situations. And we rolled out, and it was a glorious, and it was a beautiful day, with light everywhere. The sun was shining, and it was just absolutely glorious. It was God's day. And he looked out over the inner harbor, Harbor East. He looked toward South Baltimore, his beloved South Baltimore, where he grew up in his early years. He looked toward the downtown, and he looked toward the west side, and he said, boy, have I come a long way. And he absolutely came a long way. And so with that, I just want to say thank you for pouring into him. Thank you for supporting him. Thank you for allowing him to serve you because it was his greatest and honor and privilege to work on behalf of all of you. The family has been heartened. Our pain has been lessened by all the love we have received from everyone here in the city, the state, the region, and the world. And so I just want to say thank you. God is good. Take care. Elijah's life touched many. And we gather here today not for, as Maya said, a sprint to the finish line. 